Hello everyone and welcome to this very quick look at the Logitech G's uh, G310 Atlas Dawn mechanical keyboard. This is using the all new uh, Roma G switch that is exclusive to all Logitech keyboards. So first of all let's take a quick look at the keycaps. So as you can see here the WASD keys are having a bit of a special texture here. Actually what I do notice is that this half of the keyboard has a bit of a uh, three layers of uh, locking so if your keycap is like this they have two facade and another one right here so it has three total uh, angles right there but on this half of the keyboard there's only two left and right so it will make a little bit uh, weird shape ish I suppose so um, let's talk about something else shall we this is obviously a 10 killers keyboard. What do I mean by 10 killers is that there is no uh, number pads. So this part chopped off. And the reason why they did that is that they promote that this keyboard is actually meant for uh, compactness and mostly because of transportation. So the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, key switch itself. The Roma G key switches feels a lot like a membrane keyboard. So maybe you can listen to it right here. This is how I am typing and... So you pretty much hear it how I type. Well, as we can see, uh, most of the mechanical switches are standardized. So like Cherry MX, Raid, they have a certain feel to it. Blue Citrus has a click and so on and so forth. And even kill switches have that standard. But um, as far as I can see, the rubber domes are kind of un how do you say unorganized, so you can just do whatever the heck you want. But as for the Roma G switches, it feels a lot like a mechanical keyboard, uh, plus together with a membrane kind of feel. And as you can see here, there's a two switches right here. This is a joystick button. Once you press it, it lights up and it blocks the Windows key. So if you want to unlock it, press it and then yeah, you can press the Windows key. But uh, as for the second key right here, it's a brightness key. So once you press it, you can cycle through your brightness levels. So you have a total of uh, 5 brightness. This is totally turned off and then this is maximum. The level before it and another level down and another level down. So maybe it doesn't really pick up on the key on the camera itself. So, I really hope you can see it. So what's next? Um, the wrist rest is a bit weird, I would say. It's definitely made for gamers. And Logitech never really thought of using it for typing, but I find typing in it is a little bit okay too. Um, so the biggest problem right here is that this resting part is only available for your left hand. So when you are playing FPS games, for example, your left hand is mostly rested on the WASD keys and about this part I would say not even my big hands is a bit suitable you can see here I'm actually touching the table instead of this wrist rest so it kind of serves as a space buffer I guess to shape your wrist around and to indicate where you should rest your wrist and then I would like to talk about the most left side right here this one, this handlebar, I didn't know why it's included even until today. Um, what I can predict is that Logitech wants you to bring this keyboard everywhere you go. So they just put it right here and maybe you can slip your fingers through and carry it everywhere. But the problem is, I can't even put my finger through. But um, let's take a look at another thing right here. This is the ArcDoc. Uh, ARX Dock. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, maybe ARX Dock. But um, here you go. This is the dock itself. This is a little bit different from the uh, older, not older, the elder brother of this keyboard, the Orion Spark. So this one has the dock totally removable from the keyboard itself. You can take out the whole thing, but you have to uh, inverse it and put it this way so what this does is that um, the Logitech gaming software will detect what 
keyboard you're using and then you can pair up your smart device with it so what you can do here is that uh, like I have my uh, tablet right here I can pair up with the software and then just put it here so it acts like a second vision for my games so as you can see right here the tablet version of this actually shows what's my PC stats my load so currently my PC is a little bit on the idle side it shows me in real time what am I doing so it's about 67 degrees no, 60 degrees on the CPU side and 56 51 on the GPU side so what this does is actually it tells me my usage in real time as you can see my RAM usage is pretty high it's about 73% uh, of the 8 gigs that I have and I find this really handy as you can see here if you can show everything on the external screen through a software that is easily usable like this Logitech uh, gaming software I can see troubleshooting on why a game lags is actually very handy and you can even use this dock just put on your table and well just put your device there it's nice it's there and why not use it the best thing I do like about this is that since it's detachable I can put it anywhere on the table I like unlike the Orion Spark where you have to only put it on the keyboard here itself so it's a little bit thing they come out here and then you just put your phone here um, so another thing I would like to talk about is the uh, different effect you have here this is the breathing effect it breathes really slowly since I've done it to be at a very very slow rate so if you can speed it up and you can see the breathing gets about faster this is the fastest speed it can go and I'm not sure how slow it can go since you can really go very slow and the lighting sleep timer can go about um, whatever you set it you can go up to no you can go down to a minute and then it will just sleep turn off the backlight entirely and I think that's very handy if you have the keyboard on your bedroom in your bedroom and you don't want the keyboard to light up the whole room when you sleep so what I do like is that uh, this software is pretty easy to use and I do like the design of it. I do even like the uh, function key, the replacement of your right windows key as a function key instead of the right button key, uh, not the right button, the right click key. And for those who don't know, this is the right click key. Uh, and I would say that Multimedia keys are integrated pretty nice though I do like it to be separated from all this F9 to uh, F12 plus the print screen scroll along and pause break button separate them all and put it up here so this is pretty much useless and why not make use of that so that's pretty much it for my short overview of the Atlas Stone keyboard for the full review, do check out the link in the description below. And I hope you like this video. Do give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more.